excited? I'm having fun. Yeah. It's cool. This is thrilling. How the fuck did I get here? Hey everybody, how's it going? So I've got Jen Majera from Evanescence and Anita Strauss currently touring with Alice Cooper. You guys are both Ibanez artists. That's right, absolutely. Okay. And how long have you been playing Ibanez? Oh, for years, I, I don't know, four or five years now. And you? 10 year anniversary, baby. Whoa! Fantastic, yeah. my, my golden, is it the golden 10? Whatever, okay. what's your 10 year Platinum 10. Platinum 10. This is wow, a, that's fantastic. Yeah, and for 10 years we have my signature guitar, the Jiva 10. So, That's your signature. This is my signature. So what's this yeah. all about? Tell us so, all about. Uh, this is actually the first uh, signature. Close up, guitar. close up, close, close up. up. Extremely close, close up. up. Woo! -hoo! Yeah. 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 <laughs> so this is the first signature guitar that Ibanez has done for a female artist, which is a huge honor for me. And, it's fantastic. Uh, and I'm kind of obsessed with this guitar. You know, I okay. think as super gearheads, you guys all watching this. We've all been designing our signature guitar in our heads since we started playing guitar. You go, man, you know, I love that 550 if it only had a maple neck. Or I love this if it only had these pickups. So this is that guitar for me. This is the guitar that kind of encompassed everything I wanted. How did you come up with the with the inlays? That, those are cool. Yeah, the cool thing about the inlays, if you can kind of see it, so it's it's made after an EKG line. It looks like yeah. the like the heartbeat. But the cool thing about it is as they go up the neck, the heartbeat gets faster because the, okay. the spikes that is awesome. correspond to the dots, three, five, seven, okay, so Definitely forth. not thought up by a bass player. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but it gets, uh, the faster you get on the neck, the faster the heartbeat goes, that which is, is awesome. kind of a happy accident of it corresponding with the dots. But, that's you know, pretty cool. That's where the magic happens up here on the high Super cool. So it's uh, okay. Kind of and what, cool. can, what kind of a neck joint is on that? Like, can we see that? Yeah. Oh, it's just a it's real a low profile. Wizard, super low profile. Oh, there perfect. Go. Yeah. Ah, so the, the cool thing about it is it's got really good access to the high frets. Okay. You know, it's really, really easy uh, to get up to 24, Okay. as you can see. And what are these pickups? These I've never are seen my, those. Yeah, these are my signature pickups, too. These are my DiMarzio Pandemonium signature pickups. Uh, I'd like to describe them as if a deactivator and an evolution had a baby. Okay. So they're, Sweet. Uh, yeah, they're kind of the super tight, uh, tight sound of the deactivator. You know, when you roll off, you can hear that got a Marshall JVM cranked up right there. There's no hush, no hum, no nonsense going on. When you make noise with it, they've got that nice, clean sustain and a lot of punch. Fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, and that's pretty, pretty sick. Pretty. That that that's insane. Holy shit! And as soon as you get rid of that delay, there goes that hush. There goes that hum. I mean. Wow. So, Jen, what about your guitar here? What do you got? Well, I'm so far. This is like my favorite one. The gem, the blue flower pattern. Um, actually, nothing is. It's everything is serious. It's basically a Steve yeah. Vai guitar. Yes, I know. And, and it looks super cool with the handle. I well, come on. <laughs> what I, what I modified, does that help you get your guitar on stage? Oh fuck I, you, Glenn. <laughs> Just because she's a girl doesn't mean she needs a purse handle to get her guitar. Well, oh, but Steve Vai invented this. What are yeah. you saying about Steve? Okay. Yeah. We love Steve. Steve Vai does not carry his own, his own guitar to the stage. That's, That's true. true. Yes. Yeah. But what I modified with this guitar is I use uh, Matahata guitar products. Okay. Which is a different wiring. And to make it long story short, it turns with that little push pull thing, it okay. turns my five switch into a ten switch. It's like a wow. mid boost inside of my guitar, which is awesome. For the for two the people in the audience who are going to know it's what the really, fuck that does, I it's think that's really cool. cool. Yes, I it's think absolutely that's really, fabulous yeah. for the why, studio. Why ten, why ten positions? I've never heard of that before. Well, yeah, look at it. Yeah. Count one, two, three. Oh, four, I get five. that, but what kind of tonal yeah. variants? Listen. So okay. that's what it literally So it's does. more high output. It's yes, and it's it's really cool in the studio. I don't really use it live because it's a little bit slippery. To okay, do sure. That push pull thing, but it's it's really a nice. Even thing. at an Evanescence show when you're just sitting there, it's slippery. Hardly. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. She's yeah. she's doing a lot. She's doing da 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 da. Exactly da da. But not <laughs> now. We're touring with orchestra these days. So you don't so even get to do that? I don't do that, 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 that. I only do, do woo. That was, my, that was kind of my point. I would have thought yes. that they would have the orchestra do the woo. And no, no, no. The orchestra is literally, it's beautiful to play with a live orchestra I because it's imagine. a whole different world. Mm. But we guitar players are actually um, playing synthetic digital sounds. Hmm. 
like all those moke sounds and stuff going on and you know all the programs in my helix and that's what we play right well the nice thing is you can catch up on your emails during the show <laughs> I am not saying anything here. It's not like Jen was texting me from the stage. Right? <laughs> I went to go see that show. It was it was, oh it was, it was quite lovely. But I as a guitar player, it. like, it's, it's yeah. Next time we're playing LA, you you'll miss it too, I'm right? Miss it. You know, maybe I'll just have to jump on a plane and come see you guys. Before. But it's but you're so busy touring, which is awesome. I'm That's always great. following you, and it's, it's you. awesome, really. It's great. I'm you know, it's it's a blessing and a curse. I do miss all the good shows, but it's at least I have a good reason. <laughs> right. That's cool. So you're out on the road with Cooper right now, or um, no? We have a break now. I'm working on my solo record. Oh, taking a break from the studio to be here in Germany with you guys oh, for a fantastic. few days, and, uh, and then we'll go back in the studio and finish recording Controlled Chaos and do some more clinics. So what, is, what, is, kind, what is, kind of record is that going to be? Is yeah. that like a shred record, like totally. like a Jason Becker record? Yeah, it's yeah. it's kind of like you know the golden years of shrapnel, I think, but sort of okay. reimagined. It's you know it's going to be more modern, you know, similar to what Jeff Loomis and Gus G are doing now with okay. solo instrumental music. When no. will it be released? Yeah. September. September? Okay. September of 2018, yeah. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you. And of course, you know, Jen has her album out in Zenity. If Thank you haven't you. checked it out, please do. It's pretty cool. Jen's doing her awesome thing. Thank you. So it's, it's pretty wicked. Well, maybe my next record is going to be instrumental. Yours is instrumental, right? It is completely instrumental, yeah. You never considered having singers? I, I may have like one singer vocals. on one song, uh, one guest vocalist, just somebody I've wanted to collaborate with for a long time. But That uh, would be so funny because I have one instrumental track and the rest of the really? vocals. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like a, the yin-yang of, of female guitar uh, solo records. Right on. I'm not going to ask you what's your favorite Alice Cooper song to play because that's going to <laughs> that's just going to piss off everybody. So let's not do that. So I was going to ask, why don't you play me say your top three favorite Maiden riffs since you're in the Iron Maiden riffs? Okay. Well, Maidens. let me think. Uh, you know, one of my favorite ones that always gets me super hyped up to play is uh, when this one kicks in. <laughs> Sounds a little better with that. It doesn't really sound the same without that B flat in there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm super super in love with that because anytime you hear "Fear of the Dark" start, it's got that high energy. Jen, you want to switch off maybe? Well, yeah. I think of the next you're, one. You're, yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, Jen played in an ACDC AC trivia band. What were you guys called? Uh, Black Thunder Ladies. Really? That's awesome. Black wow, Thunder that's Ladies. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. And so, so why don't you play oh, your three favorite ACDC um, riffs? Let's start with one. Um, I think it's... Thrill. But that, that's also another one. It's, uh, it's also... Say, uh, I'm like... Uh, <laughs> if you want blood. Yeah. It's like two songs, almost the same riff. That's almost yeah. like Nugent. You know, yeah. he, he like recycled the same riffs in yeah, yeah, so yeah. many songs. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. I'm trying to think of a more interesting one than the, than the regular <laughs> ones. It's like throwing us on the spot here, but. Um, with a little ace of high. Did you hear that one before? Yeah, are you familiar Me, with that one? Yeah. <laughs> What's that called again? <laughs> and I have an excuse because I was Dave in the Iron Maiden, so okay. that was not actually even my part. <laughs> I, I love that riff so much. I obsessed thought I'd take a stab over at it. that in the mid '80s. Oh I remember gosh. when that record first came out. I'm old, I'm and, and and I'm old. <laughs> I was 16 when that record came out, and I was just learning how to play. And that's the the lick I learned how to how to up pick on. You know, that's what what I got my where I got my trim picking down. Oh, was it's that so, one. That such was a cool lick. Such a great lick. I was always right. super jealous of Courtney getting to play that in the mains because <laughs> you know, they would go do that cool count off, and she'd go. Ba -da 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 -ba -da -da -ba. I was like. <laughs> Uh, that's Sweet. awesome. Uh, ACDC equivalent to that one. 
Okay. There you go. Who, who, is, who is your favorite ACDC vocalist? Tough. Um, Brian Johnson is very rhythmically and, um, well, let's go for something like, no, I'm not going to say Axl Rose. I was going to say <laughs> Axl Rose. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it weird to hear him sing yeah, in ACDC? That, you know kind of what? I, I'm, I, I only saw videos. I didn't get to see the show, but I thought it sounded good from videos. It might right? be an unpopular opinion, but like I, as as not the world's biggest ACDC fan, I thought it sounded really good. I was I really surprised. Justice. Yeah, because everybody was like, "Oh God, yeah, Axl Rose." Yeah. But then he really did good. He did good. Glenn's like, "No, oh God, it was oh God." No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm just more partial to Bon Scott. It's, it's Bon Scott <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. It's Bon Scott. Yeah, yeah, a whole lot of Rosie, yeah. big balls. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Big balls. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce Dickinson. I mean, no, yeah, okay. Yeah. Who's your favorite Maiden vocalist? Well, Bruce Dickinson, for okay. sure. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, it just for me, again, as a, as a newer, a younger guitar player, you know, not having been a Maiden fan since the very beginning, since the Paul Diana days, like, mm. Bruce Dickinson was the Iron Maiden voice that I was familiar oh, with. Oh, same here. I, I, I didn't really get into metal until Bruce was well yeah. within the band, so I'm definitely in that camp. And I'll say this, too. I am Team Yannick. I like Yannick Gers. Oh, he was I good. I really do. Yeah, I he think is. he's a great guitar player, and sure. I think he's great for the band. And so many Maiden fans, uh, you know, like they're not into you know the three guitar thing. They want the original too. But I think Yannick adds so much stylistically. He adds so much to the show. Yeah, yeah. I'm super team Yannick. I sure. I remember when they first started touring with Yannick, and it's like it brought Dave Murray back to life. Right. Because in the '80s, when it was just the two of them, they were kind of like bookends, and then you know Steve and Bruce would do the show kind of thing. Sure. The other guys would just stand there and play. When Yannick came along. It's like Steve. There's this guy over there putting his foot up on yeah, everything. Yeah, and, and, and like running around like a lunatic. And, and then Dave Murray's like, oh, I better. I better yeah, exactly. <laughs> I actually asked when I joined, when I first joined the Iron Maidens, I asked if I could play a Yannick character, and they said no. Oh. Oh, that's lots of fun. I, well, because the well, the reason was, and they the, so the Iron Maidens are really traditional Maiden, like super, super. You know, like they play everything just so. And they said since Yannick replaced Adrian, we can't have an Adrian and a Yannick. We have to have each one so okay. fair enough but I still adopted a lot of the tricks so okay. I was I was gonna mention we've actually got like a line six helix down here and I don't think we got a shot of this unless you can get it over here I got I gotta say the reason we haven't destroyed the helix is actually because I it, actually use it yeah well that it's a pretty pretty damn good piece of gear you know yes it is and it really saves my ass especially for the Evanescence shows because um before Evanescence, I got to be honest, I was never ever a real fan of pedals. You okay. know, I was like old school. I had like my guitar, tuner, and that was it. I didn't even use a delay or anything. Okay. So uh, when I came to Evanes Evanescence during the first rehearsal, they were like, oh, now you need this pedal. Oh, now you need that pedal. And by the end of the day, I had so many pedals around me. I was like, okay, guys, you expect me now to step on seven pedals at the same time. How am I going to do this? Like, play and jump on those pedals? It's impossible. Sure. So I went to my line six guys, and I was like, please help me. Is there any possibility I can just push one knob instead of ten pedals? And they showed me this device, and it's really cool. And what I really, even if it's stupid, but I, what I really appreciate about this line six helix is the simple pitch function. Okay. Because it saves a lot of wood. We play a lot of different tunings with Evanescence, so the first tour I had, I believe, 11 guitars. This will let you, what, change pitch? Well, I can play, like for example, we, we just got here to the room. It was literally uh, last minute. And uh, she was like, hey, Jen, I'm an E flat. FYI. And I said, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> in, I'm an E, okay, whoa, are we playing together? I don't know. So I just used that uh, simple pitch. <laughs> Okay, that's right? pretty cool. Okay, that is, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was, so whatever, like, you know, when... Can when you play a little something with it detuned? Because I've, I've tried stuff like that before, and I found that I didn't like the tone when it was detuned, but that sounded the same. Well, I actually uh, played the whole the time. The whole thing was... Yes. Ah! <laughs> So it's really cool if so you're Morpheus, singer. take your ball and go home. It yeah, is. that's that's pretty <laughs> it, pretty helpful. You know, it saved me like I'm using now live three guitars sure. instead of eleven. It's amazing, and it's so comfortable. And the Ibanez reps like you better now too. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> they're like, oh, excuse me, you need how many guitars for the store? <laughs> well, wow. I did that in the beginning. I'm I was sure. like, okay, I need 11 guitars. This is what I need, guys. I'm, I'm not joking right now. And uh, especially, for example, you know that you have like a riff in E. And then the singer goes like, mm, can we play like a half step lower maybe today? And then you're like, ah! Oh, your singer is a different type of singer than my singer. Okay, true. 